hi everybody. How are you? It's Leslie from Scrap and Life Way, and I am here for my creative year 2018 for the month of June. And our prompt for the month of June is going to be space. And this week, the prompt is share your space. So put a lot of thought into this on how I wanted to do it. And I have a thought in my, I've had actually a couple of different thoughts in mind. Ooh, got something on that. I had a, I've had a couple of different thoughts in mind on how I wanted to go about um, doing this particular prompt. Um, I know it's going to be a saying. So I want to cut my words out of this, but I want to paint it first. And I am not, I need to put some yellow paper down. I am not going to just say this or anything. I'm just going to, I am just slapping some paint on here. This is just some green paint by Deco Art. And I need 29 letters cut out. And everything that I use in this video, um, I will link in the description below all the different, um, all the different products. I do have, um, I do have my own Amazon shop where um, I will link every, where everything links to. And I will let you know that I am part of their um, influencer um, associates program where um, I do get a percentage of the sales. So that does help, um, it does help me continue to bring free content to you. I know not a lot, but quite a few you, oops, YouTube content creators are going to things like, um, oh shoot, what's the name of that? They're going to paid content. Um, I can't remember the name of it for the life of me, but I really want to stay away from that because I do this not so, not to, I really don't do it to make the money because I'll tell you what, there's no, not a lot of money to be made, but it does help me pay for my supplies and everything. And it helps me continue to be able to bring free content to you. So I like how that turned out. All right, I'm gonna take the heat gun to this. I'll be right back. Okay, this is nice and dry. And I am going to move, actually I'm gonna stick my brush in, the, in my water over here. I keep a container of water off to the side that has water and Murphy's oil soap in it. And that's what I use to clean all of my brushes so I can use them over and over again. This is Punchinella. And I'm going to put a link in the description for a stencil um, that is really great to have. If you're brand new to uh, mixed media um, or just dabbling a little bit, um, the stencil is by Crafters Workshop. It's three different designs. It's a six by six stencil. And it's got three different designs that are um, great for uh, using as a kind of like a punchinella. And I'm just going to go through here and I'm just going to add this texture. And I'm going to do this over the entire um page because I don't know how much of this page I'm going to need for my letters. So I'm just going to go over the whole thing. And what I don't use um, will not go to waste. It can be used in, in another project. I'll just stick this in my scraps pile. It seems to be getting larger by the day, it seems. But I kind of like the word space and the, the, um, the 
the prompt is is um, share your space. And at first, I thought about talking about my granddaughter and how I share space with her. How my craft room started out as a craft room, and then it became a nursery for her, and now it's my craft room again. <laughs> She wasn't very happy about that when it first happened, when it, first, when it went back to being Grandma's craft room. But, you know, Grandma has to have a life too. So, anyway. But really, I guess the thing I'm thinking about, and it's been on my mind a lot, and it's pro you're probably going to hear this theme in a lot of my videos this week, this month, which is something that's very heavy on my heart, and that is sharing space with others, meaning sharing space with other people in this world. We all have to live together. We all need to be nice to one another. That's, I don't see that. Like I, you know, it seemed like things were getting better again in this around here and. See a lot of people calling people names again, and I just hate that. People need to be nice. We need to live together in this world, and we need to share space together. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I finished with the, um, what is this, key lime pie? Yep, key lime pie. I'm going to add just a little bit of buttermilk onto this to lighten it up even more. Um, and I'm and I'm even going to use the same sponge. I'm not even going to um, change that sponge out at all. Because the other page that this is going on is going to have buttermilk in it. So it'll kind of tie it all together. So I'm just going to continue to Put this down just randomly. Like I said, I'm not even sure which part of this is going to show up because it's going to get cut up into strips. So, but anyway, as I was saying, space and sharing. I just had to go down and remind some very loud gentlemen about sharing space and being quiet while mom is filming. <laughs> so, all right, I think that does it. I'm going to dry this up and I will be right back. Okay, I have already uh, dried this up with my heat gun. And like I said, all of um, the tools and supplies that I use, I will link below in the description so that way you'll be able to find it easily if it's something that you um, think that you're going to need in your stash or in your supplies. I'm going to go ahead and cut this into one inch squares. So I'm just going to use my trimmer here by Fiskars. And I'm just going to cut this up as evenly as I can because I want approximately 29 one inch squares because the saying that I'm going to put on here has 29 letters. So that makes sense. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut these up and I'll be right back. Okay, I have about 30 one inch squares that I've cut off, cut up here. <laughs> I'm gonna set these off to the side. Set my cutter off to the side. I'm not going to need it. At least not that I think anymore. I put this off to the side. And I'm going to bring my deli paper back. And I'm going to bring back this piece of paper here. And this is just a piece of watercolor paper. And I know someone's going to ask me how the size of it. And it's well, about eight and three quarters by uh, six and a half. So 
So eight and three quarters by six and a half. Right, I need some scissors. And I'm just gonna cut this off. We're going to need it later on. Throw this in the trash. Okay. Oh, I need to get this out of here. Whoa. All right, I have taken my brush, my foam brush, and I had it soaking in um, the water. All right, and what I'm using to dry things up, but I'm going to turn it this way so it's clean. Um, actually, it's an old cloth diaper that we used as a um, burp rag when my granddaughter was a baby. So, right now, I'm going to use this, and this is cadmium yellow, often referred to as cad yellow. I'll put a big glob of that down. And I'm just going to do the same thing to this that I did with the green. I'm just going to put this down. I did not gesso my page. Um, dog hair. Because I have a dog who gets into everything. And, oh, good grief. Plus, you know, this, this brush, I use these brushes over and over again until they fall apart. So they do tend to collect some dog hair. Which is not a big deal. I think the yellow and the green are a nice contrast to each other. So I think what the saying that I'm going to put on here is going to um, really pop on this yellow. A little green popping in there too. And again, this isn't going to be perfect. Like I said, this is picking up a little bit of the green. That's on the paper. That's all right. All right. I'm going to dry this up and then we're going to come back with our punchinella again. Be right back. Okay. I've decided that before I do the punchinella on here, I want to bring something just a little bit different to the table than this. So I'm going to bring out my stays on Timber Brown. And I pulled out one of Gina Aaron's um, stamps. And I'm going to use this right here, the little um, X's or pluses, whichever way you want to look at it, as I drop everything. And I just want to add some random texture. I'm not putting this in any specific place. I'm just going to randomly put these on here. I think they will, um, they're going to get kind of covered up anyway, but they'll come out just enough to blend. Make sure I get my corners. There we go. Okay. I'm going to dry this up. Be right back. I'm sure you don't want to listen to this. <laughs> okay, so this is nice and dry. I'm done with my cad yellow. I'm going to put that away. And I'm going to come back out with my buttermilk, which I have to say is really one of my favorite colors. I've already got some on my palette from when I did the green. And I'm just going to come in and tone this all down a little bit. So, so how do you share your space? 
What do you do? How do you share things? Whether it's sharing space at home. I actually used to share my craft space with my husband. When this room got turned into a nursery, my whole um, craft room went into our bedroom. It took up the whole wall. So what do you do? How do you share space in living? I mean, I share a space with my husband, of course, and my and our son who um, has moved home at our request. Um, some people are like, why do you have a grown son living with you? Well, because you know what? That grown son has to pay off some school loans, and I don't want him getting married. You know, too badly in debt. So we told him, move home. Let us uh, let us help you out as much as we can. You know, that's one thing. We insisted that our kids go to college because we needed a degree. We raise a family. This needs a little something more, and I'm just not sure what I'm here. So I'm going to take a look at some of my paints and see what I can add here. I don't know why I'm thinking a light blue needs to go on here, but for some reason, light blue just keeps popping into my head. So let's give that a try. I'll be right back while I grab some light blue. You know, it cracks me up when I start filming or start talking or doing something and realize that the camera's not on. I like to call that menopause brain because yes, that is a true ailment. And that is something very real. Oh, well, I'm liking this. I know that I'm putting a lot on here, but this is the way I want it. So I'm going to do it the way I want it. And then I may lighten it up. And that's the thing about mixed media. There's no right or wrong. You go from light to dark and dark to light. But it's all about layers. So anyway, before I went off on that, what do you do for space? My husband, I think, was very happy when, <laughs> when I ended up uh, back in the craft room of my own. He could go to bed and sleep. Because oftentimes when I'm crafting, you know, I get the music going. And even when I'm filming, you know, a lot of times I'll just put it to music. And um, which means I can turn my music on. I like that. I think I need to lighten it up with, I don't know. It's so much more blue I can get on there. I want to come in with a little more butter milk on top of that. I think white would be too stark, don't you? Let's come in with a little more butter milk. Let's see what it does. I'm not changing sponges here at this point. Oh, yeah. This is looking much better. Well, not that it looks bad to begin with. I just like the contrast of the light and the dark. Because you need to cover up the darkness with light. At least in my honest opinion. Yeah, I love how that's turning out. Pretty, pretty. And you can still see the, um, bring this up so you can 
got a lot of light underneath here. Let me try and turn it sideways so you can kind of see the, the texture of it. It's really cool. Really cool. I love making my own backgrounds. Okay, I'm going to dry this up with my heat gun. I'll be back. Hi. Okay, I have dumped out <laughs> all my letters. Um, I really love these Prima Alpha stamps. Um, they do, they're really cool. Um, but what I'm going to do is, I wish I had an easier way to organize them. If somebody has an easier way of organizing them besides me just sticking them into a bag, um, that'd be great. Not that I mind, you know, um, doing this because I really, actually, I really don't. I really actually find it rather relaxing and enjoying just enjoying. I get enjoyment out of setting them up. Um, just... Just be All right. I'm going to do the first part. Maybe I have enough to do I had a mess. I just have one else. Okay. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to grab my stamp thing of a bobby thing here that I made. I'm going to try and make it so that you can see what I'm doing as best I can because this just kind of popped in my head to do it this way. J U S T I'm gonna set them all in a row like this on here because I really want the letters to be pretty we are able to see them. I just had to check to make sure I was recording. This B N I I just don't want the car I don't want the I don't want these little squares to cover up any of the letters so it's imperative that they be there so I'm gonna have to do these one at a time and I'm gonna use my stays on jet black. J. Let's just have it on one part. I wish I had the capitals in these. Boy, I just want to think about this for a second. I don't have rub ons. Yeah, this is going to be all right. See, if you put it with the letter facing you, you know you're always going the right direction with your letters. Okay. Okay, I 
Do I need to move this up a little bit? Because I think that might have you. Show you. Yes. Those of you who watch my videos know exactly what I'm printing out here. I'm going to go through here and stamp out my whole sentiment. I'm sure that's going to be really um, exciting for you. Um, so you saw me just do the first word, so you saw how I'm going to do it. And I will come back when I have everything all stamped. I'll be back in a few. Well, hi there. I have been doing some work with the camera off. Uh, just to let you know, I have taken my words and... Um, Put them together with glue dots so that way they won't jiggle around so much when I'm trying to lay them down um, on the uh, background that I made out of watercolor paper. So, um, and like I said before earlier in the video, um, in the description below, this way, um, there will be a link to all of the supplies that I used. Um, so I, you know, a lot of, um, man, a lot of our craft stores are going out of business, but anyway, I broke out the Fabri-Tac because it holds things really, really well. And I also broke out the baby wipes to help keep my fingers from getting too sticky. And I also put, I'll also put a link in for baby wipes. Um, you know, you can buy them at Target or Walmart, um, really inexpensively. Um, I like to buy them in bulk a big box of them because I go through them like crazy. I am a baby wipe, um, user like bad. <laughs> anyway, um, let's get to gluing these and I'm going to start off over here. Well, I can do it right here, I guess, huh? What I want this to, have a real good hold, hence that's why I'm using the Fabri-Tac. And Fabri-Tac usually grabs hold, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room, but then it grabs hold pretty quick. So I'm just going to hold that down for a second. Yeah, see how nice that's going to look there. Boy, where was the? It was right there. I don't want to glue it on my. I don't want to glue it on the paper itself in case it leaks. I like that it gives you a little bit of wiggle room so you can make sure that it's kind of straight. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and glue this all down. I'm sure this is very, you know, enjoyable to watch me glue letters down or glue words down. So let me glue these down and I'll be back. Okay. I have my words all glued down and now I want to make them stand out a little bit. So I'm going to use a Sharpie permanent marker. This is an ultra fine point. I'm going to see how well this holds up on paint. I'm just going to kind of give it a scribble. 
I don't want it to be perfect. I may have to go to a couple of different markers just because um, sometimes Sharpies and paint don't always get along, but I also want to see how it looks. I like outlining things. It kind of adds a little bit of definition to what you're doing. It kind of, it just brings that, see how it just, it brought that word out. You see the difference here? You can tell that says the word just as opposed to, you know that's B, but it really stands out. Kind of makes it all one word. So let's try here. Again, I'm just kind of scribble scratching it. Just be. Oops. Sometimes if there's a little glue that has seeped out, sometimes it likes to fight the Sharpie. But as I'm getting closer to the end here, I I hope I hope this um I hope this video spoke to your heart. I hope you take the time to be nice. Really, it really isn't that difficult. I mean, you know, yeah, I'm a, I can be crabby. I'm I'll tell you, and my husband will tell you, I can be very crabby. But. On the other hand, you know, is it really that difficult to just treat each other with respect and be nice and not call people names? You know, the worst is when people call other people names and then they hide behind the computer. Yeah, to me, that's, you know, and our young people, boy, they really have to deal with that. I'm going to add a little comma here, not a comma, sorry, an apostrophe, because it's is, it is, it is a contraction. But yeah, you know, our, our young people today, um, you know, the cyberbullying and, and whatnot, um, they really have a lot to deal with. And, you know, I worked in a high school for eight years. And if you think they don't, you are sadly mistaken. And when you have people that are supposed to be grown-ups not acting like grown-ups, it just makes the situation worse. Remember, we all share this, this earth together. We share this country together. We share this state together. I may not like what you believe, but I'm certainly not going to call your name over it. That's just childish, immature, not very setting a very good example for our young people when we do crap like that. You know, I have a friend of mine who has a saying this, and, and actually I had thought about using that um, on this, and I decided against it. Um, she has a saying that says, just be a good human, damn it. You know, um, <laughs> seriously, just be a good human. Will you please just be nice? It's really not that difficult. Um, and there's more to it than uh, what she says, but I don't want to um, 
I don't want to lose that. I don't want to get bleeped by YouTube. Because they will. <laughs> Matter of fact, we think she should make t-shirts. That... Give her point of view. Just be a decent human being. Solve three quarters of the world's problems right there. Like I said, I'm not perfect. We give of ourselves willingly. You know, I gave up my craft space willingly for my granddaughter so that she could have her own nursery. I did that for my kids. You know, my husband <laughs> gave up privacy in, in our bedroom so that I could have a craft room in our bedroom. And now I share my craft space with her. So there's many things we share in space. We share uh, space in our homes. We share we share our cities, we share, we share everything. People need to get over themselves. Just be nice. It's not that difficult. And now what I'm going to do I'm going to take my black stays on and I'm just going to go around my edges here. And I do it kind of loosey goosey. Sorry, I hope you can see that. Again, this is a permanent ink. And it just helps to add a finishing touch. It's really kind of haphazard with it, especially in these corners. Pretty cool. Kind of grunge that up a little bit. Just be nice. It's not that difficult. All right, I have one more stamp I need to get. It is very important to this. I'll be right back. Okay. This marker's off to the side. Put my stays on out. Again. Do I want you? Where do I want you? Hmm. Right here. My butterfly. I'll put a butterfly, at least one, on every piece of work I do. Well, I hope you like my take on Share Your Space. To me, it's rather important. And like I said, I hope it touched your heart. I hope it moved you. I hope it... Um, inspires you to go do something creative 
um, using the Share Your Space um, prompt. Um, I hope you take time to be nice because it's really not that difficult and our world could sure use a little bit more of it. Thanks so much and have a great night. Bye-bye.